Today we're bringing down the Nike Sabrina 2s. Let's go. What's good everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Zach here with Tam's Just Kicks. We're breaking down the Nike Sabrina 2 basketball shoes. We got the ones right here, custom these ones. I actually really enjoyed playing in them. Some things I want to change about them, but they didn't do too much on these twos, but we're gonna break them down today. If you guys haven't seen a video from me, we go through traction, cushion, support, materials fit, all that good stuff with the shoes. Um, Sabrina is a hooper hooper. She's been playing phenomenal this season. Team is doing well, I'm like number one team, honestly, and we know Sabrina's a baller, so she's been hooping. I'm excited to get these, got them in, hooped in them. We'll have videos of me playing them throughout the video today, and yeah, let's go. All right, these are the Sabrina twos. Dropped at 130 retail, and I mean, as you can see, very, very similar vibes. Like, they definitely changed some stuff that I think is pretty good. So basically, I'm gonna just kind of compare the two models throughout the video today, because they did a couple things that I really liked. Also, some things that I thought they kind of shouldn't have changed, but we'll break all that down. Like I said, retail at 130. Sabrina, killing it in the WNBA, of course. She's always been a stone cold killer for the Liberty, but yeah. The traction pattern features a slightly modified herringbone pattern. So apparently this traction pattern is dubbed like the S traction. Um, it's kind of like for Sabrina, I guess. It's basically just like a nice little herringbone design. And comparing, I might as well just leave these on the table. This is one thing I was not a fan of with the ones is over time, these things just, like you can still see dust collection in these. Like these things pick up all kinds of dust and they've changed it a little bit. It's definitely the herringbone's a little more like tight and rigid and I really like that transition of like bigger gaps here to kind of these smaller edges throughout the shoe as it fades to the back heel. So I am a little more impressed with the herringbone design. You can see like the little S pattern along the out side of the outsole which is kind of interesting but overall i think it will hold up better and it definitely had more or i guess less dust collection than the one so a little bit better in that aspect next up the air zoom cushioning combines with the sticky traction pattern and plays pretty well so four foot air zoom cushion it's the 3.0 foam which they've been pumping on some different models i believe the luca threes just had those of them but the cushion three um, again, I felt it a little bit in this midfoot area. I'm starting to feel a lot with this, these like shoes recently is they're kind of having this more rounded curvature. Like you can just kind of feel it protruding just a touch with them having the different like four foot unit and then the Cushlon 3.0 foam. So a little interesting there, but it is super soft, pretty responsive in comparison with the ones. I feel like the cushion plays very similar. It feels pretty similar. Um, but one thing I did want to mention, it is a little bit more the materials too, but medial side, you can see that you got this like little foam pad right here. And I absolutely hated that. And when I first played in these, my foot would go over the edge right here and it would kill after I played for like two, three hours in them. These ones, they made it one cohesive like piece here. It's all still that foam but it's all one unit and your foot doesn't like hit that little gap that like here you would hit as your foot went over. So I love that improvement on it and whether it's with the cushion or not, like I just love that little tweak they did there. Next up, the materials have an interesting feel to them, but they are lighter. So personally, this is where I think I'm gonna have to go with the ones. I love this material on the ones. I felt like it was pretty breathable. I like the construction of it and I really liked how flexible it was throughout the shoe. One thing, I did like as the transition to this back heel area, I liked what they did here. I feel like it's a little bit firmer on the heel part. It adds this um, medial back plating here, this torsional plate that helps very good keep you locked in. And I think it does a little bit better. It's not as firm and rigid here, but I feel like, I feel like if they kept this on this part, cause I mean, I'm not a fan of that. That's, that's what I'm not a fan of here. I love the toe cap here and the transition down. So if they put this back heel onto this, I feel like the shoe would like flow a little bit better. But one thing they definitely um, improved a little bit is they added kind of a more like stitched, like, like firm cable containment unit in here. On the ones, you can see through how it's more of like a banded, super thin cables that go into the foot, and into the mid like foot area here to contain you. With here, it's kind of more like a Kobe vibe. Like you actually can see like, the mini cords on a block of patch that goes here. So I like that about it. I think the containment is a little bit better, but I just wish they did a little bit more of the material here and combined it here, especially the tongue. I love the softness of the flexibility of the one's tongue. 
The fit is definitely true to size. I think they fit almost exactly the same. I think they're a little less narrow, I would say. I think because of what they changed here in this medial area, I think it adds a little more into there. So a little less narrow, still true to size fit. I wouldn't change up and maybe go half size or anything. I stuck true to size, same size in both. And I mean, they fit basically the same. Finally, with the support, like I mentioned, it's pretty similar with the containment system. I think this does a better job at bringing in the sides. With the back heel, I definitely think the rigidity here plays a, a better, it just feels a little bit better on the foot. Like it feels like they had an idea what they wanted that containment unit to be in the back heel on the ones. Execution was pretty good with this um, swoosh plate here and combining it with the rest on the ones, but then on the twos, they added a little bit more rigidity with this, the S kind of fabric here going back into the heel unit. So I like it. I think I do like it better. It's not like night and day difference. Like you can kind of like when they do like the Zion twos and Zion threes, those were like, oh my gosh, what is going on here? They're changing up. But I feel like these are pretty good and supporting wise, they, they support you like a, like a Kobe would. It's a little bit less, but like I feel like this the low top vibe They've reached what they kind of wanted to with that, the cut and the weight and everything of the shoe. So, so for the ratings, I'm gonna try something a little more different instead of like a number system. So I'm gonna give more like a good to great, perfect, mid, bad, blah, blah, blah. Like that kind of help you assess like, oh, this is what I mean by like an eight and a half out of 10. So with the traction, I'm giving like a good to great kind of sitting in that range. It's pretty good, it's pretty great, but over time, I gotta see how it breaks down more because the ones broke down horrible. You can even see like it's, they've already started to peel and stuff. So kind of scared there, but it, I think it has some good upside. Cushion also giving that good to great because that combines with the traction pattern and they play off each other so much that I want to see if it's going to break down more. I liked how the cushion broke down in this. Didn't like how the outsole broke down. So we're going to kind of see with the same thing, but off of that, it's, it's playing really well. Materials and fit giving both of those a good they're pretty good. Like the, I have no complaints really with them. The materials, like I wish they were better. They still feel good and they made the, the shoe lighter. I wish it was this material, but I love the different um, way that it flows around this back part. So it's like this three fourths keep. Toe cap, I want it a little more like this, but. And then with the support, I'd honestly say like, almost a great like good to great in that range it's very nice for a low top shoe like i don't think you could ask very much it contains your foot really well i probably just go with the great because i i feel like it plays really well and it's the exact cut that i like in a low top shoe so if you like the kind of kobe feel to a shoe this low top you're definitely gonna like the fit the support all that with the shoe but yeah that's it for the nike sabrina twos let me know what you guys think about the shoes out in the comments like comment subscribe all that little youtube stuff you know what to do more videos coming i try to pump them out whenever i can need more basketball shoes always so let me know what you guys want to see but we'll see you guys on the next one